Radio Shouty. Now, when you left the group, well, when you left the team, were you able to take the music with you? No, no music. So no is music. that? And so you mean to tell me it's still some unreleased T Rock sitting over there ready to drop? Definitely. Have Definitely. you been in contact with Paul and Juicy to figure that out? Because I mean, I think we need that T. I would love to hear it. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I think. The fans will have to petition it. Oh, you know, <laughs> it's oh, one of those man. type of things. You know. When was the last time that you hollered at them, or have you even hollered at them since then? Oh man, I haven't heard from them in ages. Last time we actually talked, shoot, we was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, nah, I mean that was years ago. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't even, I haven't even heard from them really. You know, I wish yeah. them the best. But you know, yeah, yeah. me and Lord Infamous, we, me and Lord Infamous connected, you know, before he passed, rest in peace, Lord Infamous, How we did that, album man? together. How was how did you feel about Lord's passing, man? Because that was a shock to everybody, man. It hurt me to my heart, you know, because yeah. I'll be honest with you, I always wanted to, I, and, and still to this day, I would love to see a uh, reconciliation mm -hmm. with me and 3 Six Mafia. It doesn't have to be where we making records and we just buddy-buddy. Yeah. I would love to see a day where we can shake hands and yeah. say much respect and big salute to one each, one another. Yeah, yeah. But um, Lord Infamous was the gap, you know, the bridge between that gap, yeah. you know, that could have made that happen. And, um, you know, me, Paul knew about me and, you know, me and Lord Infamous having a group, you yeah. know. He, he, Lord Infamous went to him one day, yeah, I went and told Paul, I got T-Rock now, boy, what you gonna do? It's getting crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, me and Lord had a lot of fun, so, you know, me and him was able to squash the beef. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I feel like that's just a, another brick on the house of a possible day of that happening. Yeah. But, you know, only time will tell. So, I, I'll be honest, it hurt me to my heart. I had a song, you know, dedicated to him, well done, that's you right. know, you, you know. If you if you want to hear it, you know you can also pull that up. But, yeah, um, yeah, man. Lord was like a brother to me, honestly. Describe you and Lord Infamous relationship because I mean, after that nasty breakup, like you said last time you seen folks, you was uh over there, you yeah. know. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was tough love. I, I mean, and that's what I said in the song. You know what I'm saying? You know, brothers fight. Yeah, cousins fight. That's right. You know, spouses fight. Unfortunately, sometimes. Yeah. But you know, it's all about. The reconciliation, coming back together, you know what I'm saying? The hugs and the embrace. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'll keep it real with you. Like, when he first left the group, yeah, you know, um, his, his business partner, you know, me and him was good friends, you know. So he called me up. He was like, man, Lord, I ain't with 3-6 no more. Yeah. If you want to get on his album? Now, nah, I'll be honest. This is what I said. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't get. Nope. I don't want to get on nothing. But then I thought about it, and, and, and you know, something told me, a, a spirit told me, he said, yeah. you going to really want me on lower record? He said, yeah. He said, he sent the track. So I dropped it, you know, and his, his solo album dropped, and that was one of the, the most acclaimed songs on his album. So yeah. after that, that's when we decided to do the group. So I really wasn't, I was talking to him, but I really wasn't seeing him. So yeah. I finally seen him at an in-store. Yeah. So he, he yoked me up from the back like, T-Rock, what's up? <laughs> Spitting me around like a kid or whatever. But he was my partner like that. I'm yeah. like, man, this dude is wild. He's crazy. Yeah. But And, of course, that night we rocked a concert at the House of Blues in Memphis, man. Killed it. Actually, the whole 3 Six Mafia was there with us. Yeah. That night outside of DJ Paul and Juicy J. That was an epic night. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. How did it affect you when you found out that Lord had passed? Man, it was horrible. I mean, it was heartbreaking for me, you know, yeah. honestly, because it was so sudden. Yeah. And, and keeping it real, at the time when he passed, I really wasn't communicating with him because, you know, they had the Mafia 6 thing going. Mm -hmm. You know, the Mafia 6 had just yeah. got back together. Yeah, so, true. you know, he had to follow protocol. Yeah. And part of the protocol, you know, on the cool, a lot of people didn't know it, but the streets, you know, Paul was telling a lot of rappers on the cool look, I'll rock with anybody as long as you're not rocking with T-Rock. You know, so with with that type of thing going on, you know, with him passing, it was it was really a, a, a heartbreak to me. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I was like, man, okay, it'll never be peace. Yeah. You know, so, but yeah. you know, we, we just have to take it in stride. And that's why I still wish them the best, you know. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't harbor no grudges with anybody. I wish them cats the best, you know. Yes, sir. Radio Shouty! Shouty.